Paul Blair is a former college all-star at Oklahoma State University, blocking for future Hall of Famer Thurman Thomas. After college, he was drafted by the Chicago Bears, playing under coach Mike Ditka, and alongside Hall of Famer Walter Payton. Blair has served as the senior pastor of Fairview Baptist Church in Edmond, Oklahoma since 2001 and a satellite, Liberty Church of Orlando, in 2018. Blair is president of Reclaiming America for Christ and founder of the Liberty Pastors Network and the Liberty Pastor Training Camps. Paul's received numerous awards in football and as a pastor. He's fought and overcome cancer, and yet his biggest challenge may be the one he's facing now. How do you awaken America's churches to join the battle for liberty? He's a dear friend and a co-warrior for Pirate Money and our guest in the Economic War Room. Paul, welcome. Kevin, it's a joy to be on your show. You've been a friend for a long time. It's about time I got an invite. I didn't know what it took. I didn't know who I had to know to get on, but anyway, I'm glad to be here. Anyway. We're glad you're here, too. Let's start with football, because okay. you had an amazing career. Football is something I watched in college, and yeah. my wife went to Oklahoma State, huge uh, Cowboy fan. So uh, tell me about football. What was it like playing for the Cowboys and then later for Mike Ditka? Well, I, I was a late bloomer. I uh, was going through that awkward teenage pubescent stage, and then, but finally blossomed at 18. And I had a good senior year. I got some attention from colleges. A uh, coach by the name of Jimmy Johnson was at Oklahoma State yeah. University at that time. They decided to take a chance on me with their last scholarship that year. And uh, frankly, I was the prize of the class. I had a great career there at Oklahoma State. Sadly, had uh, knee injuries, which followed me throughout my entire career. But I was drafted by the defending world champion. Uh, wonderful privilege to play, play for some of the greatest coaches and with some of the greatest uh, players of all time. You know, and greats would always be hanging around the locker room. You know, Dick Butkus was always hanging around because he worked for one of the local radio stations. Yeah. Gail Sayers would drop in Hallis Hall just to say hi. But, you know, played with McMahon and Fridge and Singletary and, and, and Peyton and all those guys and under Ditka. But uh, at four, sadly, out of five years in the NFL, four of them ended on the operating table. Mm. So after 1990, in fact, my last year I was with the Vikings, actually. Uh, it's amazing what you'll do for money. They'd even go play for our enemy if they were <laughs> willing to pay me. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway, after 1990, I retired, uh, went back home, and uh, of course, now I'm in ministry. Interesting journey how I got there, but originally was in, in the business world. Uh, my oldest brother and I started a, a, a vending company and coffee service uh, after my rookie year. And actually, I owned and ran that with my oldest brother for 29 years. Well, normally you think a football player is going to come out and get a <laughs> car dealership or a restaurant, but you did a vending company. And you said, you know, Jimmy Johnson, I hadn't yeah. thought about that, but you played yeah. for two Super Bowl champion yeah. coaches. Yeah, absolutely. You know, J Jimmy had come out of Pittsburgh, brought a great staff with him. You know, all of those guys, uh, Butch Davis, Dave Wanstead, uh, Tony Weiss, all of them went on to, you know, very great careers uh, in the NFL as coaches. But they were all just young guys in their upper 20s, and this was their first uh, head coaching job was at Oklahoma State. And, of course, they got us turned around on a good trajectory there, there that we're still on. Did you uh, always grow up as an OSU fan? I mean, you grew up I in did. Oklahoma. Yep. A, a, a the slight majority yeah. favor of the Sooners and a slight minority favor of the Cowboys. Well, it's easy to be a bandwagon fan. Now, let's yeah. face it, OU has been one of the most dominant football programs in college football for throughout the last hundred years. So it's tough to share a state with the University of Oklahoma. But uh, my father uh, was in the Navy during World War II. When dad got out, he married my mother. Uh, they came from uh, Fayetteville, Arkansas, and went to school at Oklahoma A&M, which, of course, became Oklahoma State. So since my dad went to college at Oklahoma A&M, we grew up going to OSU football games. So